Hello, welcome to an RC Beauty channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've done a makeup tutorials and I apologize. You know, I've just been really busy in the last month. Um, a lot of things going on. I didn't have any time to do just any videos. Um, but I definitely created some new looks and picked up some new tips from, you know, watching other makeup videos out there. And, um, yeah, I know October is Halloween month and I know a lot of them a lot of people are doing Halloween makeup looks or like Halloween masks and things like that. And unfortunately, I won't be doing those kind of makeup tutorials only because um, I won't have time to put them up. And honestly, I'm not really, I think, as you know, good at doing those theatrical um, makeup looks uh, as much as you know, like as the other people have done. So, but definitely check out you know other videos on YouTube. But instead of the Halloween looks. I decided to do some fall winter makeup. Uh, fall winter is my favorite season just because of the colors and even the clothing. It's just a lot more richer and a little bit darker but still has color. You know, a lot of the jewel tone colors like eggplant, purples, um, forest greens, midnight blues, things like that. Um, and it's also a lot of shimmery and glitter and a lot of fun, you know, textures that you can um, use on your makeup. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to do some fall-winter looks for you. And so for today, this is my first, you know, fall-winter look. And I'm actually using some greens for the eyes. I've never done a green look um, in any of my other videos. I've done a lot of, you know, purpley blues and a lot of neutrals and smoky eyes. But um, today it's going to be a kind of frosty green look tealish, um, a little bit like bluish green, and it's like a subtle smoky eye, but um, it's not too dramatic. You can definitely make it more dramatic with like the darker colors, um, but I decided to keep it a little bit more simple and, you know, can wear daytime. And also for the cheeks and lips, I decided to use a cool pinky light color um, instead of like maybe typical peachy color that you would pair it with greens. Um, just to add a little bit of contrast with the two colors. And I'm actually going to be using this uh, Japanese brand called Maquillage. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but um, it's by Shiseido. And I got it from a friend. And it's a really pretty palette. A lot of, um, a lot of just a lot of shimmer in the powder eyeshadows. And then these two are creamy eyeshadows that we use as a base and then as a liner. And I'll actually be using both as bases. And you can actually, you know, I know I've used um, a few Japanese products that you can only get in Japan um, in my other videos. And but I found a website um, called adambeauty.com. I'm not affiliated with them, but I just, you know, I found that website and they have all kinds of Japanese makeup brands that you can order from. And, you know, they have this palette and other, you know, just everything from you know, Japanese brands so definitely check it out I put a link um, um, on my blog and yeah that's basically it so let's get started so before I apply any makeup I always make sure my skin is well prepared so that the products apply um, smoothly and last a lot longer so today I first spray MAC Fix Plus then I hydrated under my eyes with MAC Moisture Lush Eye Cream then I also applied a makeup primer with MAC Matte Primer and then also moisturized my lips with MAC Lip, Condi Lip Conditioner Stick. And you can use any you know, moisturizers and primers that you like. Um, and so now usually I've done the foundation concealer steps first in my other videos. But lately I've been applying my, I guess the order of my makeup application a little bit differently. Um, I've been doing the eye makeup first and then at least part of it and then do the foundation concealer and then go back doing the eyes and then do cheeks and lips. And the reason I've been doing that is, you know, sometimes when you do your eye makeup, you get a lot of fallout underneath, you know, if, if you're using darker colors or it's just you know, it just happens sometimes. And so, you know, when you have your foundation already set, you know, having that fallout really, you know, disrupts the look and you have to go back and clean up and, you know, it doesn't look as clean as you might want it to be. So, yeah, lately I've been just doing 
the I guess the top part of the eye and then I do the foundation concealer so that all underneath is um, really clean and all the residue is removed and then I go back and finish up the eye makeup and just the overall look is a lot better in my experience. Now for the eye makeup I always apply an eyeshadow primer to help keep the eyeshadows lasting a lot longer and prevent it from creasing and you can use any kind of eyeshadow primer that you like. Um, there are some you know products that are specifically made for uh, preventing eyeshadows from creasing or you can also use a cream shadow that will dry into a matte finish and that's what I'll be using today and this is MAC uh, Paint Pot in Painterly and I'll be applying it with a MAC brush called uh, number 217 you can use your fingers if you like I like a brush because it kind of applies a little bit more sheer and kind of buffs it on a lot smoother so I apply it from the lid to do the lash line and just kind of buff it all the way up to the brow bone. And you don't have to apply a heavy amount or a thick layer, just enough that it you know conceals the eye make the eye area and um, just a nice even base. Next, I'm going to use two more cream shadows from this uh, Shiseido Maquillage. 3D Creator Palette. Um, as you can see, there's five colors. Three are of uh, powder texture and two are cream. And this white one is um, supposed to be their eyeshadow base. And then this blue is supposed to be their liner color. Um, but I'm going to be using both as just an eyeshadow base. And so I'm going to first use this kind of shimmery, silvery white um, under the brow and also in the inner corner. So I'm taking my Sephora uh, what is number 25 brush. It's like, I think a synthetic brush that is works really well for cream shadows. And I'm just going to apply a light layer under the brow. And this will kind of um, like brighten and or intensify the highlight color a lot more when I apply the uh, powder eyeshadow on top. And I'm going to apply that same color to the inner corners. Then I'm going to be using this shimmery dark blue as a lid base. And so I'm going to use the same brush and just apply it all over the lid. Just a thin layer. You don't want it too thick. Um, otherwise it might uh, make your eyeshadows crease. So just a very thin layer. And I'm going to stop right before um, it touches the crease area kind of buff it on or use the tip of the brush to blend the edges. By using this blue color it's going to um, intensify the you know, powder eyeshadow that I'll be putting on top and also make it a little bit of a different color since um, I'll be using a green eyeshadow and it's going to be over a blue so it's going to give like a blue green effect. Next, I'm going to create more depth in my crease using a matte, kind of um, light medium taupe color. This is MAC Symmetry, and I think this is a pro color, so if you don't um, have a MAC Pro store near you, you can use um, any kind of light medium matte, uh, you know, taupe color. Um, like another color that's similar to this would be MAC Wedge, and I'm going to use a fluffy crease brush. This is Smashbox number 10 to apply. And I'm going to start at the outer corner and just sweep that all the way across in the crease. And this will give an, an illusion that I have a deeper crease and create more depth. Now usually I apply my lid color first and then, you know, do the crease and, you know, things like that. Um, but lately I've been doing the crease first because it seems to um, make the overall eye look more clean and you know the eye sh the lid eye color pops out a little bit more with when you apply that last so I'm going to be using uh, this Bobbi Brown color called Hot Stone which is this color right here it's in this stone wash nudes palette it's basically a matte kind of ashy medium taupe color